Hey everyone, it's Alex, and I am here today to bring you another video preview for the 89th Academy Awards. Today I'm here to discuss the contenders and semi-finalists for Best Visual Effects. Now, the original contenders list for Best Visual Effects was released quite a while ago, and I had been intending to make a video about that around the time it came out, but life kept me busy, and I was busy trying to film and edit all the other videos I was scheduled to film. Uh, before this. So what I'm going to do today is instead of having two videos where I would split each one about the original contenders and then the ten semi-finalists, I'm just going to announce the original contenders and the semi-finalists in this single video. So Best Visual Effects is another category where all the potential contenders are announced uh, before the nominations and the visual effects branch of the Academy take the original list of contenders, create a list of semi-finalists, and from those semi-finalists pick five films that will become the official Oscar nominees for Best Visual Effects. Usually they have 20 original contenders, and then those 20 contenders are whittled down to 10 semi-finalists, and from those 10 semi-finalists, five of them will become the nominees. So, let's see what they chose. These were the 20 original contenders for Best Visual Effects for the 89th Academy Awards. Alice Through the Looking Glass, Arrival, The BFG, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Captain America Civil War, Deadpool, Deepwater Horizon, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Independence Day Resurgence, The Jungle Book, Kubo and the Two Strings, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Passengers, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, Star Trek Beyond, Suicide Squad, Sully, Warcraft, X-Men Apocalypse. Now, if I had been able to make two separate videos, I would have gone on to talk about what I would have liked to see be the ten semi-finalists, but... I can't do that now because the Academy's visual effects branch has already picked the ten semi-finalists. Now remember, from these ten semi-finalists, five of them will become the official Oscar nominees for Best Visual Effects. And the semi-finalists are... Arrival The BFG Captain America Civil War Deepwater Horizon Doctor Strange Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them The Jungle Book Kubo and the Two Strings, Passengers, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Uh, from these nominees, I can definitely see two major locks. Uh, there's no way that the Jungle Book won't get nominated, because the way that they created CGI animals and a CGI environment and just made it look so realistic, there's no way that they're going to ignore something like that. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, that is probably a lock for a nomination because it's Star Wars. Uh, almost all the Star Wars films have been nominated for Best Visual Effects. I think the only one that was not nominated was Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I think, has a strong chance of being nominated because it's part of the Harry Potter universe, and almost all the Harry Potter films have been nominated for visual effects. I thought the effects in this movie were really good. Uh, so for the other two slots, um, Kubo and the Two Strings I've seen, and the effects in that film are certainly beautiful, but it's very, very rare for an animated film to be eligible for Best Visual Effects. In fact, the last time an animated film was nominated for Best Visual Effects was The Nightmare Before Christmas, all the way back in 1993. Uh, but like Nightmare Before Christmas, Kubo and the Two Strings is a stop-motion animated film and maybe that will play a factor in it getting nominated, but I don't know. Uh, Doctor Strange, I think, certainly could get nominated because a lot of people feel it, it had the best visual effects of a superhero movie all year, and the Oscars like to nominate usually at least one or two superhero films in this category. Um, the BFG could certainly be a contender because of the use of motion capture and CGI when it comes to the Giants. Uh, the, with the BFG in particular, uh, that was done by a mix of CGI and motion capture 
from actor Mark Rylance. Uh, Arrival could certainly get nominated, and even though it's not as visually effects heavy of a film as, say, The Jungle Book or Fantastic Beasts, uh, they certainly use visual effects to create the look of the aliens and, the, and their spaceships, uh, and since Arrival will probably be nominated for Best Picture, that certainly increases its chances of getting nominated. Um, Deepwater Horizon could be a strong contender, too, because it's set on a burning oil rig, and they had, and obviously they had to use a lot of effects to recreate that, short of actually resetting the rig on fire. Passengers could certainly be a contender because it's, a, it's set in space, and although the movie hasn't been getting great critical reviews, like the visual effects, maybe it's one saving grace here. Um, so if I had to make a prediction of what I think will be nominated, I'll say, just reading alphabetically, Arrival, Doctor Strange, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Jungle Book, and Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Uh, if I had to pick, like, a honorable mention, or if I had to pick, like, a sixth spot, because there's only five, it'd probably be either Deepwater Horizon or Kubo and the Two Strings. So, like I said before, there's some definite locks. I'd be very shocked if The Jungle Book or Rogue One were not nominated, because those two seem like they're going to be the ones to battle it out for the win. But we'll see what the visual effects branch ultimately decides on Tuesday, January 24th, which is the day that the Oscar nominations come out. <coughs> Well, that's all I have for this video, but please leave a comment in the comments section below and let me know which, which of these semi-finalists you think should be nominated for Best Visual Effects and which one you think should win. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet already done so, so you can get my newest videos as soon as they drop. And stay tuned in the coming weeks and months for more Oscar and other award show related stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!